Alright, it's um, day 7 evening vlog. Um, pretty cool day. Uh, fairly chill and relaxed for most of us, if I'm honest. Um, we had originally planned to go to Bushy Park and get the bus. Well, I had, didn't I? Um, me had other <laughs> ideas. Um, which is strange because normally she loves the buses, and but she wasn't into it. She didn't want to go anywhere today. Um, so we basically just hung around the house playing mucking about, having fun, playing chase, playing different races, pretending to be animals, uh, playing the swing ball at the back garden, and it was just really cool. Um, Elle was in good form all day, she had a big sleep in the morning, she had nearly over an hour and a half, um, which knocked her afternoon sleep uh, time-wise completely out of kilter. She wasn't tired at all at half two, and then we'd arranged to go down to Lennox Street down to see uh, Great Granddad Shay, Auntie Sia, um, and Uncle Paul, which is good because we hadn't seen them in ages. Because um, Bridgie is in, Granny, Great Granny Bridgie is in hospital. Um, and whenever Mel was going in to see her in hospital, like I'd be looking after the kids. Um, so we didn't get a chance to get down to Lennox Street in ages. And they hadn't seen the girls in quite a while. So uh, it was really good. It was, um, yeah, it was really cool to go down and see them and have a chat and just uh, and chill out. So then we were coming home then, I promised me that we'd have something there. Uh, we'd go for some specialties and I brought her into McDonald's for a happy meal. Um, Sia came with us and uh, had a good chat. Mia, Mia doesn't eat much in the happy meal, she eats the chips, that's it, but she likes the toys in it. Um, got little fish fingers, she didn't want them. I tasted one of them and they were rotten, I mean rotten. Um, so she said she was full and uh, so we came home. Now Granny's actually upstairs with Mia now, uh, reading her bedtime story so I'm off duty tonight which is great granny's gonna stay here tonight <coughs> which is dynamite so I'm gonna I'm gonna get a, a full night's kip hopefully and be uh, fresh for tomorrow for uh, for when uh, for when the missus comes home which is brilliant can't wait cannot wait Um, it's been an amazing week from a point of view of uh, developing and building relationships and getting on brilliant with Mia and developing the L <coughs> has been the highlight you know her nighttime routine is completely changed now and it's a good schedule. She's done it every night this week, and I couldn't be happier. Um, no more breastfeeding for Mel. Um, that's that's now gone. There's no need for it, and it means that Mel can get proper night's sleep now that she's starting the job, which is crucial. Um, so it's really worked out absolutely brilliant. Now, having said that, we've missed Mel massively. You know, that's uh, goes without saying. Um, a week away is a long time when you're on call. Um, like I have been for 24 hours, but like I'm not exhausted. Like I'm tired, but I'm not exhausted. You know. Plenty of gas left in the tank, um, and Granny's been a good, a great help this week. So, um, yeah, it's been a brilliant, brilliant experience, and just as well because Mel has to go back over to the states uh, on the twentieth of June, I think it is, for another um, nearly enough a week. I think it's a full week, so we'll be um, we'll be doing this again. But uh, yeah, happy days, you know, great, 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 great week, and uh, looking forward to seeing Mel tomorrow. We'll be collecting uh, at the airport. Happy days, okay. Uh, I'll chat to you tomorrow and uh, that's pretty much it. Good luck.